Tennis players are characterized for being very strong mentally. They are used to being under pressure and in most cases manage their emotions without even demonstrating their nerves. However, it has happened that eventually a player loses his mind and lets everything out. This can either be smashing their racket, swearing at their team, or in other ways. Recently, there have been a number of cases in the main tour where different players were unable to hold their nerves and acted wrongfully. Therefore, they were disqualified in what must be one of the most shameful situations to be a part of as a professional athlete. Many players have gone through these situations, some of which you probably don't expect. Andre Rublev, Dubai 2024 This happened no more than a few weeks ago, so if you've been following tennis lately, you're definitely aware of the situation with Andre Rublev at Dubai's ATP 500 tournament. During his semi-final match against Alexander Bublik, he could not hold his nerves in a very tense part of the match. Bublik led 6-5 in the third and deciding set when the Russian shouted directly at the face of a line judge after a close call against him. According to what the line judge said, Rublev had sworn in his native language and that had been understood by another linesman. However, the player insisted that he did not say any bad words and declared that he was speaking in English. In spite of his efforts, the umpire defaulted Rublev from the match and Bublik advanced to the final, which he would eventually lose. It was great to see Bublik's sportsmanship as he told the umpire and Rublev that he was ready to continue the match. However, that did not influence the final decision. Rublev was then fined by getting his points and prize money of the week removed, but that was later reverted. Mikhail Emer, Leon, 2023 in 2023, during the ATP 250 tournament being played in Lyon, there was also a situation that got out of control and resulted in a default. The player involved was Swedish Mikkel Emer. The match in question was a second-round clash against upcoming French talent Archer Fies. It was a very close and heated match, with the crowd getting involved in support of the Frenchman. At 5-5 in the first set, Emer engaged in an altercation with umpire Rogerio Santos over a line call which the umpire didn't want to check. Absolutely frustrated and overwhelmed by the situation, Emer destroyed his racket against the umpire's chair. And Michael Emer, well. These actions from the Swedish player resulted in his disqualification and consequent fine of around $40,000. 2023 was most definitely not Mikkel Emer's year as he would then be suspended for missing three doping tests and eventually retire from the sport after an unsuccessful appeal. Alexander Zerev, Acapulco, 2022 at the 2022 edition of the Abierto Mexicano de Tenis, it was another of the stars of the game who was involved in a nasty situation. Back then, it was Alexander Zerev, ranked 6th in the ATP Tour singles rankings. Very similar to what happened with Emer, Zerev violently smashed his racket against the umpire's chair, discontent with a call during a key moment of the match tiebreak. This was, however, not a singles match, it was a doubles match he was playing with good friend Marcelo Mello against Lloyd Glasspool and Harry Helio Vera. This behavior happening upon the end, he could of course not be disqualified from the match. However, the ATP took action and disqualified Zerev from the singles draw, where he had already won his first round match. Furthermore, he was imposed a fine of 40,000 euros for his actions. Still, many people thought the penalty was too light. Novak Djokovic, US Open 2020, probably the most famous disqualification of recent times. Not only because of the player involved, world number one and one of the best, if not the best in history, but also because of the circumstances. Pandemic, no crowds, second tournament back after about six months of no tennis, having won the first tournament the previous week. Novak was most definitely the candidate for the title and was having a smooth run through the draw until he made it to the fourth round. In that match, he was facing Pablo Carreño Busta for a spot in the quarterfinals. They were playing a very close set of tennis until Djokovic got broken at 5-5. Clearly frustrated, the Serbian launched a ball towards the signs at the back of the court and had the incredibly bad luck to hit one of the line judges in the throat. Game, Carreño Busta. In that same moment, Novak rushed to check if she was fine, which fortunately she was. However, after a very long discussion between himself, the chair umpire, and the supervisor, he was defaulted from the match. Even though the hit was not intentional, any dangerous action, according to the rules, must be sanctioned. Therefore, Djokovic lost a great chance to win his 18th Grand Slam title at the time and lost all the points and prize money of the week. Nick Kyrgios, Rome 2019 
This can't be a video about tennis controversies if it doesn't feature Nick Kyrgios, can it? As it is of public knowledge, Nick has been involved in multiple situations throughout his career, one of which resulted in a default. It was in the Rome Masters 1000 tournament in 2019, during his second round match against Kasper Ruud. Nick was putting in a very decent performance considering his lack of love for the clay surface, having taken the match to a third and decisive set. However, frustration got the best of him during the final set, and he started acting acting like we've all seen him do at least once. Bad behavior, inappropriate language, racket abuse, and delay of play were the four infractions that he committed. After the fourth warning, he was disqualified from the match when Rude was leading 2-1 in the third set. Upon his walk out of the court, he threw a chair, which is an infamous clip you might have seen. As is the norm with these cases, Kyrgios lost all the points and prize money of the week. Denis Shapovalov, Davis Cup 2017 Longtime tennis fans will remember this situation. It was 2017 and Denis Shapovalov was one of the greatest prospects in tennis. Rocking his long blonde hair with the backwards hat and possessing that beautiful one-handed backhand that characterizes him to date, everyone was excited about what this young guy could accomplish in the near future. It was the first round of the Davis Cup which still followed the old classic format and Shapovalov was only 17 years old at the time, just getting started in his pro career. On that occasion, he was playing against Great Britain's Kyle Edmund, a much more experienced player back then, for the decisive point of the tie. The Brit was leading 6-3, 6-4, and 2-1 in the third set, when a frustrated Shapovalov launched a ball supposedly into the stands. However, the ball went off his racket and straight into the chair umpire's face. Arnaud Gabas was the umpire during that match, and he got hit straight in one of his eyes. As a consequence, Shapovalov was disqualified from the match, and therefore, can Canada lost the tie by 3-2. This was a great demonstration of how important emotional control is on court, and was definitely a great lesson for young Shapovalov. David Nalbandian, Queens 2012 Finally, let's throw it back a bit further in time to an iconic default that happened in the final of the Queen's Club Tournament in 2012. The decisive match was being played between Marin Cilic and David Nalbandian. Having won the first set by 7 games to 6 and being 3-3 in the second set, the Argentinian had the upper hand on the Croatian in their fight for the title. However, something very unexpected happened that would drastically change the outcome of the match. After losing a point, Nalbandian let all his frustration out by kicking a publicity sign on the feet of a linesman. Unfortunately, he ended up hitting the linesman's leg, causing him a bloody wound. As a result, the atmosphere in the court turned into a hostile football match atmosphere against Nalbandian. In spite of Nalbandian's attempt to continue playing, the chair umpire, Tom Barnes, decided to default him. Therefore, Marin Cilic ended up winning the title and Nalbandian lost a great opportunity at the later stages of his career. If you enjoyed these stories, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel and check it out. There's a lot more of these published and many more coming up.